I got can have a I got can have a son with no partner. He can still have a son because because he's God. He can do any. I got can do anything. Allah can't. Can he lie? Can you got No, he did never lie. He doesn't sin. No, not sin. He can do anything. He never lies. No, he doesn't sin. Can he seize the existence? No, he can't. It's impossible. No, I, everything that is good. Yeah, it's good. That God is, is good. love. God is love. God is love. Everything that is from Satan. Does not come from God. Okay. So, exactly like we believe. No, you don't. The you don't. You don't. Allah. Right. Allah is not a man or a, or a woman. He's not an idol. He's not a picture. He's, he's powerful. Huh? We have a discussion. Why are you trying to take him away? Why are you trying to take him away? No, no, I want to listen. I want to listen. Are you a Christian? Right? Whenever you think you have something, whenever you think you're powerful, you have to remember who brought you to this life to begin with. You have to remember who can take your soul today, who can take your soul tomorrow, right? This is the creator of Islam. Allah created us and he's testing us in this life. I already know about Islam. Okay. Tell me about Islam. Okay. So we come a Muslim and have four to five wives, kids from court, and you pray five times a day. I can see it. The judgment of day, the uh, day, the the jig, the 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 day trigger, the day trigger. Come and help me out, bro. The dad. I'm, I'm feeling you're trolling. If no, you're I, I'm not trolling, bro. I'm being serious. I, bro. And I'm being not serious too. No, so no, no, no. Religion for us as Muslims is serious. Yeah, I'm sure you know that. that. Yeah. I'm sure you know that very well. I'm yeah. sure people in your community know that very well. Yeah, and I get Islam that. I'm very serious. Bro. I get that. We don't joke around. We don't troll when it comes to Islam, right? Uh -huh. We do believe in judgment day. Islam does not teach that. Every Muslim should marry four wives. Where do you get this concept from? No. <laughs> Takia! Somebody <laughs> told No, I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm laughing. He's lying. He's, he's lying. lying. He's lying. <laughs> Takia. I'm serious, guys. I'm It's called so Takia. So if you read the Quran, okay. Why, do you, why are you lying on camera? I know he's popular. Why are you lying? I know he's very popular, actually. He's, he, he's very, very popular. I don't know. He's obviously got a crew. Why, excuse me, why are you lying about the four wives? What do you mean lying? What do you mean lying? You, you just said that Islam doesn't teach that you can have you four have wives. A with me? Um, can I ask you one question? Why did you lie? Well, I'm asking you a question first. Do you want to have, you wanna have, you just, wanna have a discussion with me? I want to have a discussion, but I would like to, uh, you to please answer why. Don't day, touch yeah? me, please. No, Thank you. Yeah? Every no, no, day, yeah? 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 And they keep seeing yeah. yeah. fucking Quran. Relax, relax, relax. And relax, relax. you don't want to fucking try to take the piss out of them. Are you don't, don't worry about them, don't worry about them. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. You're Hindu, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. Yeah. I'm forced their beliefs of other people, isn't it? I know, they have some sort. Yes, yes. No, actually, I think they've been coming here a few, few times, they're looking for me, you know. I'm, I, I don't know why they're looking for me. If, you, have, if you're are, looking for me, they have all the places of the world. They come to disturb yeah. us. Uh, the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah, I, I want to ask you, a, religion, but yeah, but you can't do all this. Yes. You know what I mean? What curse them for what? For preaching their own religion? Are you mad? Yeah, you're causing problems in this world. All you love, you are. He's a lady. No, no, man. He's handling it. Don't worry about it. Can I'll talk. talk. I'll talk to him. Don't worry, don't worry. So you want to talk to me? He said, right? Uh, I will, but I would rather he leaves because he makes me feel uncomfortable. I, Is that I, okay? I, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Hindu brother. I don't control him. I don't have mm -hmm. authority over him. This is a, a public uh, place. I cannot say to him, we're leave. We're Indian. We're, we're all the same color, yeah? Mm -hmm. We look after each other. No, he's not you Indian. Know, he's Arab. Come? So yeah, I, I'm a bit uh, shaken up by. It. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Did it touch you? I thought. No, he he was very abusive. Is that not abusive to you? I, I think he saw you. I think. I think. What's wrong with you? I think he saw you. I think he saw you, and he saw your actions of trying to push your belief on other people. We're standing here peacefully. You're coming with three, four cameras, trying to tell us what you think, and what is your belief, and what you want. We didn't invite you here today. I'm sure we didn't. We, I have no idea that you guys are coming here today. So he saw something from outside. He doesn't know who you are. He doesn't know who I am. I never met this guy in my life. And he's a Hindu, as he stated himself, right? But he saw you, he felt you guys are pressing yourselves, trying to enforce your beliefs on us. 
So then he was trying to kind of give you a taste of your own medicine. That's, that's how I felt, right? So do you, but he seems like a nice person. So that's, that's do, you, do you think it's okay to uh, swear and abuse women? Swear and okay abuse women? Not. Of course not. Is it okay? Of course, not. So, but you said it's it... Not, it's not okay, but you, not. But you just said that it was justified what he did. you think it's okay did. to force your beliefs on other people? No, I, I, I'm not forcing. I just asked you, why did you lie I didn't to say the you man? Were. I just asked you a question. Do you mm -hmm. think it's okay to force your beliefs on I don't force my belief on anyone. Excellent. Do you want to have a discussion with me? That's the first question I asked. Uh, I want to ask. So the the yes. So we're having a discussion now. So why did did so, you? So in a discussion, two people engage with each other. Mm -hmm. We don't interrupt each other, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to teach me something, and I'm trying to teach you something. Is that correct? I wanted to find out um, how comes did you lie to that man? How or... comes I lied to that man? I will come to the, my question to that man. Can you first affirm the premise of what we're doing? Do you agree that in a discussion, someone teaches the other person something, the other person learns from the other person, we allow each other to speak, it's a dialogue, it's not a monologue. And we also answer the points that we make. So I hope you're listening to what I'm saying and you will deal with what I say. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Are you setting the house rules or something? <laughs> yes, I am setting the house rules. I'm coming, I'm coming to a specific point. Do you agree with that? Uh, of course, I'm a civilized person, you know. So you um, agree? We're both teaching each other, we're learning from each other, we're having a discussion. I don't know how much you can teach me, to be honest. No, no, I, I'm, I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm a very, uh, I'm a person who's still learning every day. You might know more than me. But the question is, do you agree? Are you trying to come and teach me, right? Now, let me ask you this. So you, you don't want to teach anything? I just want to, I'm not a teacher. I'm here to tell people how to get saved. So are you coming to learn from me? I just want um, to understand our, no, our, I, okay. our, our interaction. Are you coming okay. to teach me something? Or so me? I, I came here uh, because I had some questions about Islam. So you're coming to learn? Uh, to if you have questions, you, you're waiting for someone to teach you the answers. So you're coming to learn? Yeah, you okay. can say that, no yeah. Problem. So you're not here to teach anything? I'm not a teacher. I'm an evangelist. Okay, so do you teach something to other people or you don't teach something? I share people? the gospel with other people. Is that a form of teaching? Um, well, it depends. Um, you know, I'm sharing it's a information. Very question. I'm trying to get an answer to. Do you, are you here to teach as well? Or are you here just to listen to the answers to the questions I'm going to give you? Because you're making you it say, so complicated. No, it's very important because if you're here to learn... Now, yeah, to be honest, I'll be honest to you, I, I'm still, uh, I'll be honest to you, I'm still kind of shocked that you kind of said it you was okay. Um, I have some, thank you. Uh, I'll be honest to you, I'm still a bit shocked. Huh? Um, yes. I'm still a little bit shocked that you basically justified a man abusing me and swearing at me. I'm still, I'm okay, not trying to be dramatic, but I'm, 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 I'm uh, trying to put words in my mouth. It's not going to work. No, but you. What? I clearly said no when you asked me the question. Are you justifying? I said no. Mm -hmm. So but you, you, you're, you're not being sincere with yourself. So I thought Christianity teaches to be sincere with yourself. So what, what did you think about his behavior towards me? He was yeah, swearing at women me. Is very bad. So why it's didn't horrible. you? It's horrible. So why didn't you? Shouldn't you shouldn't degrade women, and you shouldn't call them dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you believe you should call women dogs? What is your point? Do you believe we should call women dogs? If you're talking about Jesus, we oh, can discuss the context. I didn't say Jesus, you said that. I know you were going there. Do you there. think your God calls women dogs? Is that what you believe? Can you... Can you I didn't say Jesus, you said why Jesus. You, why are you jumping from one... Okay, why are you jumping from one thing to the next? You asked me a question. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should curse women? I, no, I clearly okay. said no. I asked so you a question in why return. didn't you say anything to him? Why did you kind of just... Okay, what? He's, a, he's not a Muslim and it's a public place. I don't okay. know the guy. It's just someone walking so by what, a public So what place. did you say to him when he was swearing at me and uh, telling me to F off? I didn't off. say anything. And I, and I, I said... Because I didn't want to make the situation even bigger. When mm -hmm. someone is angry, is coming to preach something, mm -hmm. the right way to deal with them is to let them. Just like mm -hmm. you didn't speak back to him, correct? That's the right way to deal with the people. So I didn't speak mm -hmm. back to him because it's not my business. He's coming mm -hmm. to talk to you. And I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. So I have no authority over him. Why should I talk to him? Okay. Okay. No, so now thank let's you. talk about something productive, right? Because okay. this is something irrelevant, right? No, I just... Uh, are you uh, here to teach I, something I, or are you just here to learn? Um, uh, I just wish next time if you see a man abusing a woman, I, I hope that you can be more gentleman and actually say something more because I don't feel like as a woman you were protecting me I feel like you were just allowing him to um, no I didn't know. think you needed protection because you have three or four people with you three men no, why do you need my protection uh, it's not about protection it's about it's about you know that is um, 
in a minute is is about you know just you, you if you if, yeah it's about if you see a man abusing a woman you know a man should why actually why did they, the four men with you speak why are you coming to talk to the muslim who has nothing to do um, with you so i you should preach that to your, your people mm -hmm. your colleagues you should say to them okay. all my christian colleagues who care about your christian mm -hmm. sister you should have been defending me mm -hmm. instead of coming to a muslim who doesn't know who you are or never mm -hmm. met you in his life trying to enforce him trying to defend you in a specific way you should speak to no, because you one two three four five six seven you can show i don't know how many people over there you know so so and he's trying to show you what to say he should have been defending you shouldn't he have been defending you instead of showing you what to say there's more muslims than christians here so um anyway i wish because it is on camera anyway i wish you would have said something to him but it seemed like you justified it we but we can move we on we can move on so my question was in, in eventually the man uh, I don't know who he was but he had like a hundred people following him I don't know that guy but he said that in Islam uh, you're allowed to have four wives and you said no Islam doesn't teach that so I said why are you lying I didn't say that. no you didn't say that what did you say then I will come back to the main question if you answer it we'll, we'll move forward into a discussion right are you here to teach are you here to teach or are you here to just learn? Share. If you're here to ask me share. questions only, I'm share. happy to give you answers. But when I'm giving you answers, you shouldn't be arguing with me if you're not here to teach. But, but if you are here to teach... We're having a conversation. A conversation works sharing. that, you know, you I know why I'm you... asking that question? Because from what I know, the Bible clearly teaches that a woman should remain silent. She shouldn't teach. So I'll, if you're coming here to teach, then you're opposing your own scripture. Mm -hmm. But if you're not here to teach, if you're here to just learn something, you need to ask a question and wait for an answer. I'm happy to answer Do you. Do you think that, I said, mm -hmm. carry go on. Go ahead, you want to say something? Yeah, so that's why I said I'm not a teacher, okay. right? However, so the Bible the yeah. Bible said uh, that all should evangelize. That's why the, when Jesus resurrected, um, the first woman, it was a woman actually, that he told to go and tell everybody. You're to me or to the cameras? Well, there are... The people will be watching I'm, I'm on the camera. You, okay, the camera. fine. I, you know, because relevant. I'm used to people watching okay, on camera, I want to address we them. A, we said we have a conversation, not with the camera. With okay. Me, right? okay. So, yeah, in the Bible it says women shouldn't teach uh, to men. It specifically says, you know, women can teach other women. Women can teach children. However, all are commanded to share the gospel for so God. you shouldn't teach me? Um, I can share the, the gospel. I can share the gospel because you don't have the truth in I you. I talked about sharing. I talked about teaching. You shouldn't teach me. Um, I can share the gospel, right? But there an Islam woman can teach. I'm happy for any woman to come and teach. I, I, it's I'm interesting because I, I, I've never seen women and men in the mosque together. So uh, have the, you been to a mosque before? I have been. Which yeah, one? I've been to the East London Mosque. And there is no woman in East London Mosque. I only see men going to the mosque. I don't see. Can so women went, and men be to together? The, you went to the men section. There's a whole. There's a whole building called the. I Mariam. know. I see outside. I've been to. Me, if you allow me to answer, you, there's a whole building called the Mariam Center in East London, which is just only for women. So I, I don't know how you can miss a whole building. So, are men and women allowed to be together in the mosque? In the time of the Prophet والسلام, men used to pray in the uh, in the front and women used to pray in the back. So they were in the same location. There's mm -hmm. no problem with that in Islamic. Okay. That but might surprise what about, you, but uh, there is no problem with what that. What about now? Because what I'm trying to say is that I have... Even now, even now, a, mm -hmm. a man can pray and a woman can pray in the back. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. because they can be in the same location. There's no mm -hmm. issues. Because when I pass um, by the mosque, I only see men. I've never seen women. How do you pass by the mosque? I, but because it is, um, you know, there are mosques everywhere in London, right? You can okay. walk past it. You have in the to public. enter them. You cannot pass by them to see what's going on inside. You I see enter. crowd of men outside the mosque. I don't see women. So are men and women? That's a good point. So Churches are, men, are empty. So, the mosques are, are filled with people. So are men and women allowed to be in the same room? I answered that question. No, you said in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. No, no I said even today you can do that. No problem. Even today you Even can do today. what? If today I, I start praying here and women pray here in the back and I pray here, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Islamic what does the back so do you pray in public? We can pray in public, yes. Yeah, what in fact, does the Prophet Muhammad said to answer the, this question specifically, he said, Fudiltu ala nabiyina bisit. I was given six virtues over the other messengers or the other prophets. So he had specific six characteristics the other messengers were not did not receive from the creator. One of them is he said the earth was made as a mosque for me. Mm -hmm. So the whole earth was made as a prayer, mm -hmm. a place of prayer for me. So as long as mm -hmm. I find a clean place that does not have any, anything dirty in it, I can pray in it mm -hmm. as a Muslim. Do you know what the Bible says about uh, praying in public? It says that it's hypocritical and that's the whole reward that you will get. Do you know that? No problem. 
Why okay. would I concern myself with what the Bible teaches about prayer? Um, because it's the truth. It's the truth. You? Um, well, do you believe in the Injil? I believe in the... What is the Injil? The Gospel. Gospel of who? Of Jesus Which Christ. Which one do I what do, you, what do you believe in? The Gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I agree with you. So when Jesus Christ was walking, was he teaching the people the Gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, which was written later on? Which Gospel was he teaching? He, he is the good news. He's the Gospel, right? The, listen, I'm the listening. Bible account, yeah, is the, what, what Jesus did. What, you know, is the Gospel is Jesus Christ, yeah? The, the Bible is an account of what Jesus did. The Bible is God's diary, right? It was written after Jesus. So that, it doesn't change, you know, who, who Jesus is, what he did on the cross. You didn't ask me, do you believe in Jesus? You said, mm -hmm. do you believe in the gospel, right? So, I, so you're, you're confusing. Uh, you're confusing. I don't know why you have to whisper things in her ear. She can't handle herself, right? Well, you, because, you, you, no you, one is whispering anything to my ears. Since I started the discussion, no, come on, the camera, the whole right? point, no, no one needs to whisper anything into my ear. We can have a discussion, as I said, me and you. You don't need someone to teach you something else, right? I know, I okay, will get there because I have some questions to ask, but... Okay, so you know, Jesus, Jesus was walking and he was teaching something. Mm -hmm. He was not teaching his biography of his life because his life was not over yet, right? So he was teaching something else and that was the gospel. That's the gospel that Muslims believe in. And so what you say, it, so, so when you ask me the question, do you believe in the gospel? Yes, mm -hmm. I believe in the gospel. Mm -hmm. The gospel is, that I believe in is the gospel of Jesus, not the gospel mm -hmm. of Mark, Matthew, Luke, mm -hmm. and What is the good news of Jesus Christ? What, what is the good news? What is the gospel? He's coming as a messenger of the Creator, a chosen messenger of the Creator. Mm -hmm. He's telling the people that they should obey the Creator, worship the Creator our Lord. Do not associate parties with Him. Do not do idol worship. And He gives glad tidings of messengers that will come mm -hmm. after Him. Many things, many things. That's mm -hmm. some of it. The most important thing is to say the message to the people. To worship the Creator, not the creation. Don't mm -hmm. worship a human being. A man or a woman or an idol worship the creator who created everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many pages do you have in the Quran approximately that speak about Isa? Because it's not Jesus, it's I somebody didn't count called Isa. Them. I didn't count approximately, them. you could have a look and tell me approximately. I, I didn't count them. But He's mentioned by name 25 times. By 25 name. times. But that's by name. Mm -hmm. so, so he could be described not by name in more places, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about specifically by name. But the number of exact pages that talks about Isa alayhi salam, I'm not aware. Mm -hmm. But he was only mentioned 25 times. It's a good times. research you can do. Huh? It's a good research you can Look, do in your uh, free time. I mean, I wish that, you know, because you're talking about a different Jesus, right? Uh, I wish that you could explain. Now, Jesus was, Isa was mentioned in the Quran 25 times, by name, right? By name. By name. So, does any Muslim in here know how Again, many... are you talking to me? Or are because you, you said you don't know. No, but I want to say something just to, just to state this clear. If you're here to talk to me, that's what I asked you in the beginning. I was very clear. Are you here to have a discussion with me? Why am I... You said, are you sitting in the house rules and you laugh? No, I'm making, so, I'm making a principle for us to move forward based on it, right? So, if you're here to talk to the people, you can go talk to the people. If you're here to talk to me, then you should be talking mm -hmm. to me. Okay. And, ask, and that's why I asked you, are you here to teach or speak to me? Mm -hmm. You're here to ask shall questions, I... you said. So I'm waiting for your questions. Okay. I'm answering so them. shall I, because you couldn't answer, you Wh said which you... Which one did I, could, I couldn't right. answer? I ask, how many times is Jesus mentioned in the... Uh, so how many pages, uh, roughly how, how much context do you have talking about Jesus? You said exactly your question. How many pages mentions Jesus? Or how many times, like what is the content of Jesus in the Quran? I'm not sure. You can do your research on that. Let's Google it, right? I'm not sure Google is a, is a credible scholar to... But you don't know the answer people. either. Sorry? You don't know the answer either, so but I don't know where to not, go. When you do not know something, you do research. That's why I was telling you to do research. I don't know if Christians do but that you, as well. You, but as uh, Muslims, we're taught to do research, right? So I can right. open the book and check how many pages talk about him. Instead of going to check Google. Right, so we have um, in, um, so in, uh, I've just Googled it, it says that Jesus was mentioned 26 times as Jesus and 8 times as a Messiah. Now, my question to you I'm is... I'm not sure this is accurate. Okay, I've just Googled it because you don't know. That's so, not Google, that's a website. Yeah, I've Googled and I put on a website. Yeah, which, what is the website called? Um... Right, don't know. I've just got, it's the first thing, it's the first... So you just Google things and the first thing that pops up is the truth. Okay. Is let's that how you uh, believe Jesus is right, God? Let's, Google is Jesus is God. Let's get this straight, right? Okay. So, we have more content of 
Jesus Christ. I don't know, by the way, you're shouting, right? I'm not. I'm just in front of you. But go ahead. Okay, I'll try not to shout. I do have a loud voice. Because, I recognize. Because you know, women are supposed to be feminine, right? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say I'm not feminine? No. <laughs> no I'm, making, me. I'm stating a fact that women should, are supposed to be feminine. Okay. Um, I disagree. I um I agree. I have a loud voice, but Problem also point. you're interrupting me quite a lot, so it makes it difficult for me to speak. Uh, you're asking me questions, so I have to answer. Okay. So you don't know how. So you don't know how often was Jesus mentioned in the Quran? You said about 25 times. Um, now, my my kind of uh, question is when how. I said by name, he's mentioned 25 times mm -hmm. clearly. This is something I know. I said the instances that talk about him in general. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how many. Okay. So, um, do you agree that the Quran has a shorter account of Jesus than the Bible? A shorter account of Jesus? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. 100%. All right. So, you want my, my approval, stamp of approval, yes. Okay. So why because should... the Quran is not a biography of Jesus. Mm -hmm. or, or biography of Muhammad sallallahu or biography of any messenger. Yeah. So it's not focused on an individual, a human being. It's, mm -hmm. called, it's, called, it's focused on the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you should be worshiping. Okay. Uh, I, I worship God, and this is why it becomes. I didn't say you, you don't. Right. Can I please? Uh, you know. Of course. It's, I want to be feminine and respectful, like you said, but it's difficult when every word you interrupt. Thank you. So, do you agree that if the Quran has shorter accounts of Jesus, as shorter accounts of the prophets? And they're different stories that is less reliable than something that was written before, which has longer, extensive content. It doesn't make sense. Let's say you write a book today, right? Or even not today. Let's say you write, you, the prophets write books over thousands of years, they write accounts. And then a few hundred years later comes this guy, and he can, he, not only he changes the story, but the accounts are a lot shorter and inconsistent. It, why would you, anybody follow that? Okay. I answered the question already. Is it the, the Quran is not a story about Jesus. The Quran is about the Creator. So it should not be talking in thousands of pages about a human being who lived his life. Even if he was a mighty messenger of God. Even if we love him. Even if we revere him. So it does not mean the book should be talking everywhere about him. Similarly, the, just as the Quran does not talk everywhere about Prophet Muhammad. Who or is, any other messenger of God. Who is the God, Messiah? Who is the Messiah? That's a new question. Okay. Who is yeah. the Messiah? The Messiah is a person who is chosen by God to fulfill a specific mission. In our tradition, he is a messenger of God and he comes back to kill the Antichrist. That's mm. our belief. Is Who's Jesus the Christ the Messiah? According to the definition I just gave, yes. Okay. To so, our definition. All right. Definition. Okay. So you're saying that the Quran is a book about God. Therefore, it, uh, it wouldn't include um, detailed information about the Messiah about the prophets. However, the, the, the Quran... I didn't say that. What, what are you saying that? I said it shouldn't holistically be talking about them. Mm -hmm. You know, I, when I interrupt you, with all due respect, is to just correct what you say because sometimes mm -hmm. you misrepresent me. That's mm -hmm. why I interrupt you. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be a problem what you said if the account was consistent, right? So, for example, when we Christians go out and evangelize, we give out the books of John's, right? That's only one book of the Bible. Why do we do that? Because it tells you very clearly that Jesus Christ is Lord. It tells you how to get saved. We don't have to give the whole Bible when we need to share. However, that is okay because it's part of the Bible and because it's consistent. Now, the problem in the Quran is that you have not only a different Jesus, different prophets, you have shorter versions and they're distorted and they're written hundreds of years later right that shows just in itself logically that is false if you if, if there is a story whoa, written whoa, whoa, about whoa, 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 whoa. you're teaching me now that's not a question i'm not teaching no, no, you no, no, i'm no, reasoning you're, no, no, with no, no, you no, no, you're just teaching me he doesn't right. like my reasoning no, no, because no, no, i just no, no, debunked the just quran said, didn't just, i just, Did it, does it make sense to anyone? Again, you're not talking to me, right? Because you're Are you here to entertain me? people or something? Is that your, your, your daily job? I'm asking if I'm they... I'm here if to have a serious co discussion right. about salvation, not to entertain people. All right. right. Now, you are teaching me because you're saying it's doing X, Y, and Z, and that is wrong, and that is false. This is called teaching, right? So if you have a question for me, I'm happy to hear okay. your question. But I'm not here to be taught by a woman if her own scripture tells me that she shouldn't be teaching. Mm -hmm. well, Other women, Muslim women, I'm happy to be, to be okay. taught. Okay. Well, first of all, the Just scripture, right? The, the, uh? the prophecies. The, the, the prophecies. 
bit. Yeah, first and of all. Well so is he talking so, to me or are you talking okay, to me? Okay, first of all, right? Just talk amongst yourself. If he's going to talk to me or you're going to talk to okay. me. Okay, first of all, yes. the, the scripture about um, women not teaching, right? So are you going to teach me that that's no, I'm, I'm, I'm very that? fine. No, no, no. You should be asking questions. You said you're here to ask questions. Okay, right, we're done talking about the Bible. I've just debunked Islam. I've just proven to you that an account written a few hundred years later, which is shorter and distorted, is false. That's why this guy doesn't want me to talk. Now we're going to talk about Islam you talk? and you're going to answer my questions. You said I can't talk, I can't teach. So I won't, I won't teach anymore. I've just debunked you. Now you're going to answer my questions. Do you realize by saying I debunked you does not make it true? Do you know that? The crowd, well, you know, we you let know the viewers, that, you, you yeah, we okay, let the viewers decide, we let the viewers decide. Do you agree in an account written Again, a few hundred years? are you talking years? to me or are you talking to someone else? Are we, so, are you we going to move? any question if you want to All right, that's me. fine. We're going right. to move on to the Quran now because you don't want to talk about the no, Bible. talk about anything. I've just debunked you. No problem. If that's and you know team, that. I've debunked you no and you problem. know that. You can, okay? You, can, you are entitled the, to your the, opinion. The, the account of, the, of Jesus Christ in the Quran is false, and is distorted, that? is shorter, Can you and is that? I've proven it to you. How did you do that? By saying it? There is logic, right? Okay. Right. Logic they, they, uh, even the prophets, yeah? Even the prophets. I had uh, one of your colleagues, he's on Sam Dawa's channel I don't actually. Have colleagues. Which, what okay, colleagues? Dawa colleagues. Come to my workplace or something? What colleagues are you talking about? Dawa colleagues. No, you can say brothers in faith, which okay. are two billion people, so you have to be specific. Even your brothers in faith a couple of months ago, right? You tried to say to me... I'm not oh, here to defend other people's statements. Again, are I, you talking to me or are you talking to someone okay, else? Okay, can I say something politely just to prove my point? Thank you very much. So, even uh, this guy at Speaker's Corner, he tried to say that, oh, uh, the Pharaoh is king, blah, blah, blah. We, uh, we, have, we have it written as king in the Quran. Huh? No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about I'm talking about the Quran. I'm not talking about him. Right. I'm not I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the Quran. You're talking to me. Don't okay. Worry about him. Okay. So even uh, even uh, this Muslim man and I'm not talking about him because we're not going to make it personal. He said that oh, in the Quran it calls um, uh, the Pharaoh king and oh is a king. But actually the the account in the Quran of Joseph is one chapter, one chapter, and we have pages it's of very, Joseph. Very, very, we have pages in the, you know, and now you're trying to say to me that the account in the Quran is more valid in terms of the prophets when the accounts are shorter, they are distorted, written hundreds of years later. You can go, you can go. 13 chapters of Joseph and you have one chapter and you say, the, cha the chapter that we have is true, the 13 chapters are false. Relax, okay. You can go that, you can, I don't know, we, I don't know why, why she is, but, but look, look, you, talk to me please, though, my brother, I love you, sorry. You can go, you can go to the person who told you that and discuss with him. I don't know why you're telling me about it. How many chapters do you, from what you know, because I know you you're not... what I've just said, right? I have not made any claims no, about Joseph. No, my point... And, and that's called the straw man, right? I did not make any claims about Joseph. So if you have an issue with someone else who made a claim about no, Joseph, I... you can go. If you allow me, just I allow you to speak. You can go to that person and you can explain to him. But I don't know, that's not, that's irrelevant to me. He's trying to practice English at all. Oh, okay. Right, I'm not, I'm not, I will uh, clarify. I'm not making it personal to him. I don't like to make things personal. I don't like to be disrespectful. That's why I don't even talk about Muhammad because I don't even want to go there. However, talking purely in terms of theology, right? We have one chapter of Joseph in the Quran and 13 chapters in the Bible. Now you as a Muslim tell me, how can a, a Quran written hundreds of years later with one chapter be more valid and more reliable than the Bible written thousands of years before with a more extensive Content. Can I answer? Yeah. One is from God and the other is corrupted. There is no proof of corruption. No, I've your we question. have no You have a new question now. Right. As I said, you're you're not here to okay. teach me. You're not right. here to teach me, you're here to ask me questions. Okay. So if you have a question about what I said, you can then clarify mm. this is my question. I'm happy to answer you. Okay. So you you say but no guys guys you know it's, it makes it difficult to if you interrupt politely you can listen but it's is you know
Okay. Sisters, please allow her. Allow, okay. Allow they, they also could interrupt. Don't, don't, don't be abusive. Do you understand? Okay. okay. All right. Don't abuse me, Dan. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. If they carry on, I will call the police. I'm not going to stand here. The prophet I will call the police. Okay. All right. Okay, I don't like this. By the, way, no. by the way, I don't condone this behavior. Yeah, thank this you. Yeah. I'm, I'm very yeah. clear on that. Yeah. Thank you, because you know um, we can agree to disagree, and we can discuss, but I don't like abusive behavior. Of course, I agree with you. Okay, because sure. uh, I, I don't. I agree with you. Okay, let's can, we just, can we focus on our discussion? Yeah. Because when you talk to someone, then they feel like you're talking to them. No, too. it's just very difficult when you're being abused. You know, it's like, it's, okay. but uh, yeah. No, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so, by the way, uh, let me say something very important, right? If you cannot handle the pressure, you shouldn't be doing this. I can handle. So if, you, if you're gonna start, if you feel like you're gonna start to cry. My advice to you is that this is not something you should be doing, right? I'm not gonna, gonna... I'm just giving you advice. I'm giving you advice, right? If you can handle yourself, you can engage with other people, and you, you're not feeling stressed, because I feel like you, you're a bit feeling stressed or you're about to cry or something like that. If this no, is the case, hold on. If, if this is the case, then my my advice, a sincere advice for you, because I'm, I'm worried about your safety. You shouldn't be doing this if you're afraid. No, I just... Why I do just, you take my advice? Do you laugh at my advice? Uh, I, advice? I'm, uh, I'm just... Thank you for your guys, please, because it, it gets too much when people are talking. We're having a conversation. They are your friends if you allow them. To okay, talk. so um, I um, I can handle the pressure. What I don't like is abuse. Okay, but it's finished now. We can go back to the conversation. I agree with you. I agree with you. And I told okay. you I don't condone that. We can go back to the. Clear. Thank you very much. No I I appreciate you can no see that it was not okay. Now. What is your next question? So when we so my question is right. So you say that okay. The claim is that the Quran is corrupt, uh, the Bible was corrupt, so therefore the Quran comes. Now, even so, how can a, a Quran be truthful when it only has one, like very small um, verses, chapters here and there that are changed? It doesn't make sense, how can, how the stories. Can Sorry? How can it be truthful when it's reduced, when it's confusing? When it's um, twisted, how so, can it be true? So let me get this clear. If something is clear, uh, if something is short, that means it's not true. Is that your reasoning? Well, in this circumstance, yes, right. Okay. Let's say. So let's... my answer to that question would be that we don't mm -hmm. base truth based on how big or, or small something is. That's my mm -hmm. answer to your question. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's a kind of a fact. Let's say that you know you spend a day in here, right, and I write a story of what you've done from the morning till night time today. Now, um, I send that story to different towns, you know, and uh, there is no computer, no internet. People write the story and 99% uh, is the same, right? So over hundreds of years, there are people all around the world and they have the same story. There might be some words different. There might be some sentence that change, but the content is the same. Now, you then um, come 700 years later and somebody comes and he says, no, uh, what you did on that day, we reduce it to one paragraph, and that is true, even though it's completely different from all the other accounts that were circulated. But in mind, there is no internet. How can that be reliable? It's not reliable in your story, but your story is not in accordance to what we believe. Mm, absolutely, it's not, and I'm glad that we agree. You understand that, what I was Yeah, I am when glad. I say, let me clarify because it seems that you misunderstood. That story that you concocted right now, you just you made up in your mind, does not represent the reality or the comparison between the Quran and the Bible. Absolutely, because sure. um, so it, it's, because it's a false comparison. No, it, it, it is a, a true comparison, right? Because you just said absolutely, I mean, yeah, because okay, we no we don't believe in the same God. So I'm happy that we can agree. We don't believe in the That's same way of saying. salvation. That's not okay, what I'm so I are you teaching me that? No, I'm just stating to you the so fact. Telling me something? Are you teaching me? There is me no that? need to be patronizing. I'm not patronizing. Your book tells you not to teach. Not my book. Do you understand the, the context? That. Do you understand the context? Is that a question? Yes. Context of what? Of what it says for a woman not to teach. Do you understand the context? I, uh, I think it's clear. It doesn't need any explanation. It's okay. very clear. Anyone okay. can go to the Bible, read uh, first mm -hmm. uh, Timothy chapter 3, 
verse mm. 11 onwards, and you can read what the Bible teaches. Okay. You don't need to take my opinion of okay. what I think what it says. Yeah. Just read it it's, for what it it's, is. Uh, okay, let's clarify. So. No, no, clarifying is teaching. No, so no, no. Because unless you have a question, you I, can ask your question. Okay, let's talk about the Quran. If you're not going to let me clarify the but Bible. You're talking about the Quran. If you, you because. Were about the Quran. Okay. You're talking so about Joseph if, and the Quran. Okay. So if you don't want me to explain that, for example, Jesus told the Samaritan woman to go and tell, Jesus told Mary Magdalene to go and tell, and that is evangelism. That is, if everybody's called to evangelize, that's fine. Teaching, I didn't say it's not fine. teaching is is different, right? In a church, there should be a man pastor. Can you define man the two words? should teach men. Can you define the two words? What two words? What the, can you define teaching? It depends on one context. Well, for me, your context. Add you. I just need one of the Quran. Yeah, it's a prophet. Can you define teaching? Stop Are you talking okay. to him or me? Uh, can you Do define you, teaching? Okay. Teaching is um, teaching the Bible. It teaching would be more teaching. Teaching, teaching, teaching is uh, to pass the knowledge on to somebody. Excellent. So were you passing knowledge on to me a few minutes ago about In the a, Bible? It, is, is a, it depends on the context. If I'm evangelizing, you're lost. You're not in Christ. You're going to hell. I have a duty you teach, you to tell teach. you. I have a duty to tell every human being about how to get saved. I don't want you to go to hell. God doesn't want to now. You don't want me to talk about the Bible. Let's talk about the Quran Again, because look, I have some things to ask about the Quran. Right now, what you're doing right now, and it's very obvious and clear, right? To claim that I don't want you to talk about something when I never made that claim is obvious. I never told you don't teach this. When I did, wait, wait. Okay. I did never oh. said do not talk about this or do not talk about that. You were talking mm -hmm. about the Bible. You were talking about the Quran. I, were, I was answering your question, your question. So don't try to build a straw man that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Please, because it's when it looks, I looks, when it looks I pretty, it looks pretty. okay when I debunked yeah. Islam, you told me that women are not allowed to teach. So now let's move on to the Quran. Yeah, you debunked Islam in your mind. Yes. Okay, yes. my Christian friends agree. The audience can decide for Christian themselves. Agree. Of course the audience do. can decide for of themselves. Do, do you right. believe an account? That is detailed, was written over thousands of years. Are you all the, the Bibles, again? yes, all the Bibles agree that Jesus Christ was crucified and resurrected, Amen. that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. And um, there is a one, there is different word in use, the same context. Do you want to believe that story that has been consistent over thousands of years, or a story written by a man who was a big sinner who heard a revelation from an yeah. angel? Two and minutes you know ago, what the you Bible? said you talk about Prophet Muhammad. You're just showing your hypocrisy by trying to, to throw this low blow about Prophet Muhammad, right? It just shows your Christian hypocrisy. A minute ago you say, I don't want to be like those other people that talk about the Prophet and this and that. Two minutes later she starts insulting the Prophet of Islam. Even though I was very respectful from the beginning of the conversation, I didn't talk about Jesus. I did not insult him in any way, shape or form. It just shows the difference between you and me. Second thing, what do I want to believe? I believe in the Quran. And I believe in the Bible. Now let's talk about the but Quran. But to me. Uh, but let's talk about the Quran. Yeah. Let's yes. do this. Yeah, she doesn't have other questions. That's why she no, has. No, we'll move on. Questions. We'll move on to the Quran now. Okay. We were so, talking about the Quran. Joseph, okay. The chapter of Joseph was in the Quran. Okay, That's and we we, de we debunked how one little the one little chapter written hundreds of years later is less are you reliable. Move on or are you going to talk about but you mentioned. Okay, we'll people. move on. We'll move on. We'll move on to the Quran. So now you tell me. How do you get saved in Can Islam? Can you tell me? It's better than now you tell me. It's, it's right. a condescending behavior. Don't you agree? I didn't say you should tell me this or that. You should say, Can you've you been patronizing me, me but I take it on board. Question, no, you're doing that, not me. If you're coming to ask a question, then there is a mannerism of asking questions. Can you answer this question or can you clarify this point for me? That's okay. what I'm used to. This is what my Muslim brothers come and do, right? Okay. Even though they, they could be better than me in the sight of God, but oh, they're sorry, very respectful. You're so sensitive. They're, they're very, <laughs> sensitive. They're very, you're sensitive. They're very respectful. Wow. And when they come, they ask a question Don't cry, bro. politely, Stop and crying. I give them an answer. Stop All right. Crying. Could you kindly clarify? Um, how could you kindly clarify? How, hold this because I need to charge my phone. How do you get saved in Islam? How do I get saved in Islam? Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, could you try? Um, could you? I need to get my bank charger, so that's why I'll be one minute. So now, could you candy? Okay, get, get what you like, it's no problem. But we're gonna wrap up soon because we've been already now almost. I don't know how long have you been? The, source, the juicy bit on the Quran, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. We've been talking, we've been talking for 55 minutes. I will allow okay. you to ask whatever you like, right? All right let's, but we should wrap up, that's what I'm saying. Okay, right? let's, let's finish talking about it. Again, this. again. Yeah, the pity behavior of trying to make it seem like I'm trying to okay, avoid stop something. Complaining. Clear, How much? Right? Are you just right. complaining? Let's get straight to the juicy point, eh? Right, let's talk about Quran. Is that how women speak in Christianity? Stop crying, baby. 
Go ahead. Don't be a crybaby. Let's talk That's about. Let's get straight to the police. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let. All right. Thank you very much we for your input. Let's talk about Let's Quran 2570, where it says, "Except for those who repent, believe, and do righteous works, for them Allah will replace the evil deeds with good, and ever is Allah forgiven and merciful." Now. What Are you fighting in the scripture? I, I, you were reading very quickly and screaming. Okay. Do it again, do it again. Okay, okay I'll read it slowly so everybody can get Please. a full understanding. Quran 2570. Okay. Except for those who repent, believe and do righteous work, for them Allah will, and here it comes, the interesting bit, will replace the evil deeds with good and ever is Allah forgiven and merciful. Now, what does that mean? I mean, so it says it's in clear English. Okay, could you break it down in more details and then I can tell you what it comes across to me. The, it says that when you believe in Allah Azza wa Jal and you repent to the Creator, Allah Azza wa Jal replace, replaces the evil deeds that you used to do with good deeds. Now the scholars have many explanations for this. First, one of them which is very uh, popular is that, for example, I used to kill, which is a bad deed I used to do. Right? It's a hypothetical example, it's not me. Yeah? Okay? So hypothetically, a person used to kill, and then Allah replaces, replaces that bad deed that he used to do with, for example, giving charity. So now Allah replaces him a good deed that he does mm -hmm. in the place of the bad deed that he used to do. That's mm -hmm. one example. Okay, it's very interesting that you said how different scholars have different interpretations because yeah. I found in a hadith that actually says that your sins will be turned into rewards, which is actually, um, you know, what it says. So where is the hadith? So let's read the hadith. Can you give so it to we, me in Arabic? Yeah. I don't, uh, how comes uh, Islam can only be understood in Arabic? Surely God is a... Who said that? Is that well, you, why are you asking me to read it because, in Arabic? Because I'm, an Arab, I'm, because I'm an Arabic speaker. But isn't, isn't God a man of all languages? God is, is not a man. Arabic? God is not a man. Okay, According isn't to the God for all languages? God is isn't God, I'll rephrase it, isn't God oh, yeah, for all like languages? Arabic, or is it only Arabic? Arabic? Is it only Arabic? Are you asking the question to yes. them or to me? I'm asking why. Around, I'm asking, why. you speak very good English, right? Okay, yeah, I do. Um, so Thank why you. do we... It's a good, it's a good okay, it's the first so why do we... Yes, go ahead. Why do we have to read it Arabic? We're in England. I didn't say you have to. We're speaking in English. Why do I, we I have to I didn't say you have to. I said you give the Arabic for me because I can read the original. Why would I read a translation of the original if I can access the original? Okay, I'm gonna... Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Can you tell me what I just said? Okay, you said to me that you're yes. an Arabic speaker, so you want to read it in Arabic, but we're... you want to... Um, what is the problem in that? I said, why, should, no why wouldn't I read the original and I read the translation of the Do you, original? Are you worried that the translation is wrong? Can be wrong, of course. Give the hadith in the right. Right. Depending right. on which yeah. website you're bringing the translation give him from. Give the hadith number. So you ha I want you to give me the, the hadith in the, in the original language in which I can read. Okay. I don't it, has a a, it has both languages. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to show you in Arabic, no right? Problem. Take your time. So give me two minutes to read it. Um, yes. From Safir Ibir Katir. I know who the last person who will be brought forth from hell and the last person who will enter paradise. A man will be brought and it will be said, excuse me, um, Take him his major sins and ask him about his minor sins. So it will be said to him, on such and such a day you did such and such, and on such and such a day you did such and such. He will say yes, and he will not be able to deny anything. So, so far so good. In the sense, there is nothing wrong here. However, in here it says, then it will be said to him, for every deed now you have good merit. He will say, Oh Lord, I did things that I do not see here. He, Abu Dhar said, and the messenger of Allah smiled so broadly that his molars could be seen. Muslim recorded, Ibi Abi recorded that Abu Bajir heard Mansur say, A very old man with sunken eyes came and said, Oh messenger of Allah, a man betrayed others and did immoral deeds, and there was no evil deed which he did not do. If his sins were to be distributed among the whole of mankind, they would all be doomed. Is there any repentance for him? The Messenger of Allah said, Have you become Muslim? He said, As for me, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, with no part or associate. And the Messenger, Muhammad is the seventh messenger. Um, become Muslim. Right. Okay. <laughs> but here it comes, the twisted thing. Yes, it, Allah will right forgive now. you for whatever you've done like that. And he will praise your evil deeds with good merits. Oh. I'm really waiting for the point. Can I read the hadith? That is the point. Can that I, is the point. Can I read the Arabic now? You said you have the Arabic as well. Yeah. 
the point is very clear in the Quran and in the Hadith. It says, Can I read the Hadith before you state the point that you're trying to, to state? Don't forget we have to okay. say. Where is the Hadith? It's here. I can get the website yeah, if you want yeah, it. Yeah, no, give me the Hadith because, because this is just... Uh, here. Are you saying that this is not true because this is it sounds I'm not bad. making any claims. I'm asking you to give me the Arabic so I can read it in the original text. Okay. Put the Hadith number in, in Arabic. Then put it in Arabic. Yeah, go to sunnah.com or any of the other websites and just put the Hadith there. I'm going to get it up one minute. Please do, yeah. Just your time. I don't know why we have a big crowd today. <laughs> It's because Amy's here. <laughs> Amy, you hear you brought a big crowd. No, 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 no. She has a point she wants to make. Right, I'm going to show you. Right, don't forget your point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you why. Because I heard Ali Dawa and Mohammed Ijab. Can we, can we stick with my discussion with you okay. again? Other people are not responsible for what they say, okay. for what they do. I'm not their, okay. their, their, their guardian. Okay, from here. This is the Arabic and it starts from here. Okay, can I let me read the Arabic? Okay. okay. Sorry. Don't forget the bit about the good marriage. That's the whole point, yeah? You need a Arabic. Can I let me read it? Okay. You okay? Yeah, my lip is a bit dry. Oh, okay. You got water, have you? Drink some water. water. Drink some water. Keep okay, your throat, where yeah. is the uh, where is the, the hadith in which book? Because I don't see references. Oh, okay, my. now he's gonna deny it because there is no it's here in Arabic. I can't. I just asked Arabic. you where is the hadith. Okay. I didn't Let's, make a I didn't okay. make a claim right. that I'm denying it's it or not denying it. It's in here. Okay, it's let's from, let's let's right, it's from this let, let's accept the hadith. Right, for the sake it's Surah 25, Al Quran, Ayan. How is it a surah and it's a hadith? It's, right, is it's, it's, it's in here? Right. Okay. This is the beginning. Where is the hadith in which book of hadith? Okay, it tells you in here. Where, it's where? Arabic and English the, in here at the top. Uh, yeah, that's the surah. That's not the hadith. That's right, the surah. I've read it to you. Can show the camera. That's not the surah. Show me, show me, show me. Look, you're making a claim about a hadith. So you're you're supposed to show us where where is the reference of the hadith. I'm going to show you. I've showed it to you. You didn't show me the reference, you showed me the, the words. One minute, please. Take your time. You should come prepared if you, if you come in with all I of these I am questions. prepared. Okay, let's so stick to the, the Quran. Let's stick to the Quran. You want to deny the Hadith? I'm let's not denying anything. Quran. You're denying. Let's stick to Quran 25, <laughs> where it tells you very clearly from the Quran that your evil deeds will become um, we will good deeds. Merit. Merit. What's your point? So you Again, so I think we'll end this discussion if you're talking to other people. Do you want to talk to me? You want to talk to I'm not. Oh, what do you guys think? I'm not doing that. I'm talking to you, right? Okay. So if you're talking so to me, you're still talking to other people. Okay, you want to deny the hadith that I just I'm not denying anything. You're denying that. Alright, let's stick to the Quran. In the Quran. You can do whatever you like. I'm not okay. telling you what to do. In the Quran 2570, it says clearly that Allah will replace Brothers, your, you your sins into good deeds. Now, that is perverse, and i tell you why. Because it means that if you, like you said, that's my opinion, of course, it means that if you kill a hundred people and you repent and say Muhammad is a messenger and blah, 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 then Muhammad will turn these a hundred people. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't have to do the shahada. Blah, 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 okay, from, from okay. Blah, blah, blah. okay, let's okay, let's let's just say just that. Just be clear. All right, thank yeah, you. No let's just let's just be clear, right? Yes. So according to the Quran, right, as long as you do your shahada, yes. you know, and you repent and you do all, etc. etc. I don't have to repeat it. No, etc. etc. as well. Right? All right, I'm not a Muslim. I don't have no to problem. do the recitation no of the shahada. No, okay. okay. You already did, by the way. But okay. It's okay. Yes. So I. So the point is, yes. the point is, the point is, is that finally. if you kill a hundred people, yes. according to the Quran, Good right, you will, that as long as you turn from your sins, that will become a reward. Good marriage. Did I explain to you one, one clear interpretation of that verse of the Quran? Let's hypothetically, one interpretation. Let's hypothetically accept that this is the case. What is your issue? What is my issue? Well, one person is that, did, uh, can, I, can I just finish off? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, no go problem. On. So if a person did the bad deeds and then he repents with the Islamic conditions of repentance, mm -hmm. which means first that you stop the evil deed that you do. Second thing, you regret the evil deed that you do. The third thing, you have no intention of coming back to that deed again. Mm -hmm. So if these conditions all apply and you give the rights back to the people, and Allah, the creators of the heavens and the earth, the merciful that the Christians all the time try to portray as a God who's not merciful, forgives you, where is the problem? There is no justice, that's the problem. Because where, where is the justice okay. 
Can I answer, please? Go ahead. The justice is, first of all, the, the, the Bible says that the cost of sin is death. I'm the not Bible, interested in what the Bible right? says. Okay, I'm Can answering. You give me rationally? It Why, is it rationally. Problem? It is not just because you're, sh you're saying that as long as you turn to your, from your sin and there is restitution, that is okay. But if you kill a hundred people, there is no restitution. You kill a hundred. There is why? Are you going to bring these hundred people what, back to uh, life? What, what, of course you you're mean not. There is no restitution. What do you mean there is no justice. In fact, it is why? unjust. Why? I'm asking why. Allah. Okay. Can I have one minute to answer? Right. Allah is merciful, of course, but He is not just. And I tell you why. Because if I, for here, example, here, okay, me. if I, um, let's say I'm a Muslim and I do everything I'm supposed to do, right? Uh, and let's say I try my best to live a holy life. You, on the other hand, you're a Muslim. You kill a hundred people according to your Quran and to the Hadith that you disproved. You will get more rewards because your sins will be turning to good like rewards. Good That's what the Quran says. Good That's what the Quran okay, says. Okay, Let's merits. read it again. Okay, okay. Now, now wait, 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 wait. wait. That's what the Wait, you made a clip. Brothers, what, can you let me speak to her? You made a clip. You said you will get more rewards. Now, Where does the Quran say that? Good merit. It tells well, admit you, you lied. Wait, wait, wait. We will see now how Christians lie and misrepresent the Quran. Does Allah so say in the Quran? Saying, wait. Does Allah say in the Quran you will get more reward? Show me what, what okay. does Allah say that. What it says. Please don't skip the question. Okay, Show I'm me. answering. What it's saying, right, is that your sins will be turned into more rewards. Now, let's where, be where, logical. Where does it say more, it, more rewards? Let's be okay. Let me answer. Let I know it in Arabic. Okay. There is nothing about more. Right. This is Except, something you introduced. Yeah, and I tell in order, you why. In order, in order for you to. to Corrupt the Quran, try to corrupt the verse of the Quran, no. like you corrupted your own scriptures, right? But in us, Alhamdulillah, we memorize our Quran. I know what it says word for word and letter for letter. No. I don't need you to try and add something from uh -huh. your pocket to portray some beliefs that you have, right? It does not say you will have more rewards. Mm -hmm. It just says that Allah will replace your bad deeds with good deeds. Okay. And I give you an example right. of what scholars say by replacing bad deeds with good deeds. Now you went to the Bible and the Bible says this and that and you didn't explain to me why is it unjust. Again, I said to you, Allah Azza wa can recompense the people who died. Allah Azza wa Jal can do that. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he can give you anything you want to you want. So if I did injustice to someone and Allah recompense him on the day of judgment, what is the problem in that? Well, first of all, there is no justice because Again, you're um, just repeating. Can I please answer? Thank you very much. Go ahead. Right? So I will go back to the first point because you made a few points and we're gonna unpick this. You said where does it say that you get more? Logically, if your sins become rewards the more sins you commit, the more rewards you get. This is the logic. That's what it says. Because that's what it says in Quran. Don't, don't worry. She, people see clearly it's not saying it that. You, She's just making up her own stuff. Now, you're saying to me, where is the justice? The problem with this is that if, I, if I'm a Christian, is Allah going to recompensate me if you kill my no, brother? No, no. Of course If you not. die as a Christian, you go to hellfire. Well, exactly. <laughs> burn, so there is no there. justice. In Christianity, however, there is justice. Why? Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Of course, Jesus if you know the, the truth, then you reject it, then you die. And, and the, the Bible recognizes that we're all evil, and only God is good. This is Sorry, God don't include me with you. If you're evil, don't include me with Do you, you think you're a good person? As much as I can, yeah. Well, the, the truth is, you're not Pure good, truth, I'm yeah. not good, is what the Bible says. The Bible recognizes I'm that we're all sinners. What the Bible says. Why we should I care? Sinners, we can, you should care. Why? Because it's the way to salvation. That's your belief. I don't believe that. That's what the Bible says. You will die sins. in your sins. Again, your you're imposing your beliefs. You. I was just telling you in the beginning sins. you're trying to impose your beliefs. I'm not interested in what the Bible says. You're okay. coming to me here, but I'm not interested. So, the, to wrap this up. I believe in my book, which is right, a Quran. To wrap this up, in Islam, you're saved by your deeds. Right? I didn't say that. It says that you, is there a scale at Judgment Day in Islam? Is there a scale? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What is the scale about? Can you explain it? Because you're scale is about weighing the good deeds and the bad deeds. So. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. Did you not just say that you, there is no yes, that you're not? That. So. Yes, I said so that. We are, so if you don't understand that concept, you can ask, okay. ask, ask me, and I will explain. All right. But you so, clearly don't understand what you're talking about. Right. So in Islam, <laughs> you are your your deeds and your your sins are put on a scale. Yes. Okay. Now. Let's, let's unpack this. That doesn't mean you just let's, get the paradise because of that. That's your, your understanding, which is flawed. So what's the we point of having the scales? Now let me teach you how to answer your question. Mm -hmm. There's a clear hadith of the Prophet ﷺ of a person who lived all his life, 70 years, obeying Allah and doing good deeds. And then his deeds were placed on the scale. And then Allah said, let him enter paradise with my mercy. 
said, no, Allah, I'm not going to enter with your mercy. I will enter with my deeds, which is your understanding, with the Christian understanding of Islam. This is what they say And then, the if you can allow me to finish, you see? All right. Now you see, because you don't want to hear the hadith, do you, right? No, I'm so then, sure, so then he says, no, I enter with my deeds. I don't enter with your mercy. So then Allah says, bring the, the blessing of the eyesight that I have bestowed upon him. And then when the blessing of the eyesight is put, put on the scale, all his deeds are gone. They, they were all lifted up. So then he said, no, 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 oh Allah, I go to paradise with your mercy. So the Prophet ﷺ told us clearly, he said, none of you will enter paradise with his deeds. They said, even you, O oh Prophet of Allah, he said, even me. So if the Prophet of Allah is not entering with his deeds, none of us are entering with their deeds. Just because there is scale does not mean this is how we enter. Are you going it does to not mean this is are how we enter paradise. Right we enter paradise with the mercy of Allah. But one condition to obtain the mercy of Allah is to do as much as good as you can in this life. Which is where the scale comes in. So this is your answer. Are you going to heaven? You can talk to me, you can talk to me. I'm talking. I'm not worried about him. He talks all the time, but I talk to you. Is he going to heaven? No, don't, don't feel defeated. You can speak. Heaven. I've already debunked Islam. I've already debunked, <laughs> and that's why, why you don't want to talk about so why it. Why are you still here? We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. Are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven? Why are you still here? You debunked Islam 30 minutes ago. Why are you still here? We, I wanted to ask you okay, some questions. Go ahead. We're going to wrap this up. No so essentially, yes, in Islam, right, you say um, if you follow, do you know if you're going to heaven, for example? Do you if know? If I die the, as a Muslim, I go to heaven. Yes. If Allah, you die, promised, so, what, what, Allah promised me I go to heaven. Okay. Paradise. So what is the purpose of the scales? Can we get the hadith? I've already scales? answered that. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm not the habit of repeating myself. I'm not understanding because I'm not. We watch the footage. We watch the footage. I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding how your your sins turn into rewards. I don't understand Can that I part. You know, because you said there are different You know, in the university... In uni I know there are different... You, you want me to answer you? In the university, when the professor is explaining something and someone says, I don't understand, then the, the professor repeats the same point again, right? You have the footage, go home, watch it 10 times, and you will understand why. It's but that's I'm going to get it up. I'm going to get it up then because you don't want to be uh, polite. I don't um, want to be polite. How am I not being polite? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Right, according to the verse of the Quran, that's why she's here. She doesn't want to leave. It can be concluded. He doesn't want. You don't want to listen. It can be concluded that in Quran, a scale would be established in order to weigh the good and bad deeds of people. Weighing of deeds is an Islamic principle. It's part of accounting. Now, the problem is that the problem with this is that if your sins are you going to from? right. Um, I got it online, obviously. You got it online from Google again. So can yeah? you tell me which? No so you show me. Uh, you like me, Google a lot, right? So you show me. Okay. You are the Islamic scholar. I didn't you, say I'm an Islamic scholar. Okay. Right? When did I say the, that? You're the Islamic teacher. I didn't say I was Islamic. Can you recite the Quran? Can you recite the Quran? I'm the servant of Allah. Can that's you recite the Quran? I can recite the Quran. Yeah. So, so what? So, uh, every Muslim can recite the Quran. How many Muslims can recite the Quran? Everyone, mashallah. The whole of the Quran. Is it, is it just, are you just a parrot then, just remembering but not understanding? Now, now it shows who, who is not being polite. I didn't call you a parrot, I did not insult you. But you're 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 using ad hominem because you know because you know your argument doesn't work. Now you're trying to use ad hominem, right? But you know she's going to talk to him. You can talk to him, then you can go have a cup of tea. So can I ask you, Kandi? Can I ask you, Kandi? What's the point of you memorizing the Quran if you don't understand it or teach or can't teach it? What's the point? I never said. I never said. I never said that. That's why I said it's parody, not to call you a parrot, but that's what a parrot does. You already did, by the way. But that's what parrots do. The parrots memorize things and you they don't know what they're saying. You can insult all your like this is what Christianity teaches. So what's the difference? I have to be respectful. So, politely, what's the difference between a parrot and somebody learning a book and not understanding what it says? So this is a human being and this is not a human being. Yeah, but what is the point of you? What is the one is a human, one is an animal. Okay, but, so not in, but they don't understand. Both of them don't understand what it says. I thought these days that okay. like I never made the claim that we don't understand what the Quran says. No, so I can you? I made the claim that I don't call myself an Islamic scholar. Okay. Nor do I call myself an Islamic teacher. Are you saying to him or me? Right, are you. What is the point? Can you show me? What it says about the scale, please. I'll ask you again. Because he oh, must know the answer. There are many, many. You have to be more he's specific. To heaven. He's there are going many to heaven. verses in the Quran, like Hold Allah on. says, "Wa nadhu al 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 okay. And we place the scales, the just scales on the day of judgment. Now, there are many verses in the Let's Quran. There are many ahadith. He's going to heaven. He said there will be a scale that would be placed on the good and the bad. So he's judging himself. He's going to heaven. Okay. Traditions and let's put this straight. Can you let her speak? Have some respect for her. 
Oh, Let, let's get this straight. Should be the cameraman, not the speaking no, man. it's yeah? all right. right. right I, I like speaking. We, we have a lot of people uh, jumping in. Let's get this straight, right? So you have a scares on Judgment Day where your deeds and your sins will be weighted. You want to finish here? Right? Because you said you already this of Islam. You want to finish here? Yeah, I want to say, yes. but as I showed you, in Islam, according to the Quran, it tells you that the sins turn into good deeds. So that means... So that means that on the day of judgment, if you kill a hundred people, those sins will be on the scale of good deeds. Therefore, they will make you more righteous. So Allah may be merciful, but He is not just because you have more justice with more sins than somebody. Because it's very important. That's your understanding. Uh, my brother, my brother, wait. My brother, wait, wait. Now to answer you, do you want to talk to me or no? Now, to answer your question, that's your understanding, your flawed understanding. We don't agree with but it. You agree but thank you, different thank you for telling us. But we don't agree you with You agree it. that there are different interpretations. You said in the very Excuse beginning, me. and one different of the, interpretation to what? Of this verse. Yes, I did say that. Yes. Okay, and you agree. But what you said is not one of them. This is, I've, I've, I've shown you in the hadith. You didn't which show you me try anything. It, you, you don't have a number it. for the hadith you quoted. You don't know what, any references. You say Google is your reference. That's all you showed me so far. Uh, I showed you, I showed you the time. website. Okay, okay. I showed you the website. But I don't you think there's a next time. I think that's it. <laughs> it's not the next time. She already disproved his time, man. Why does she have to go back? Into good deeds. Listen. He must have judged himself. He's going to heaven. He must have judged himself. You know, you know, you know what's funny? What's really funny? What's really funny? And, and let's end with this right okay. what's really funny is that you called me a parrot and you continue to repeat yourself for 30 minutes in this conversation right mm -hmm. so i don't know which which one of us is a parrot let's stop now, do you, you want to end this discussion you know stop, it's nice stop, talking stop. to you now you guys came here many times i was not here you came here many times trying to fight me here we had our discussion i'm not interested to have any discussions with you anymore you believe you <laughs> You already believe you debunk Islam, so you shouldn't be interested in coming back in again. Unless you feel unless you feel you didn't debunk Islam. That's a different story. If you did then it's, it's done, we don't need to have this discussion anymore. There are many sincere people who are interested to hear in Islam. I didn't come to your table. I'm not interested in what you're preaching. I have my Quran, I know it's from the truth, I know it's from God. I don't need your approval. I don't need your acceptance. You can take yourself and go. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you very much. Same, repeating the same thing for one hour. Do you want to do it right then, Amy? Do you want to finish it up? Uh, hey, hold on a sec. Hold no, on. Before you do the right, I think you need to break the break point. You said that the wine is going, yeah? And he didn't want to Now let me finish. Let me do it on camera for you, Fred. Yeah. Let's, let's get something clear now. The gentleman was saying that there's a scale that you're weighed on your good deeds against your bad, but that's not what determines whether you go to heaven. What determines what you go to heaven is, is whether it's God's mercy. That's fine, we, we can accept that. If that's, if, that's, if that's the logic, that you have to wait till the day of judgment, and it's on the principle that if you committed more good deeds than bad, even that doesn't get you to heaven, it's God's mercy. But we asked him a direct question, are you going to heaven? He said, yes, I am. I'm a Muslim. It doesn't make sense. He's judging himself. No, he's believe. You are lying. Listen carefully. What, what did no, he say? No, it I'm not lying. Sense. That's what he said. He said himself. Yeah, and it good makes deeds. sense Listen, good deeds. It doesn't matter. Listen, that's what, listen. No, good no, 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 it doesn't bad matter. Bad deeds, yeah? And you're judged on don't the good or bad deeds. That you're alone is not enough to get into heaven. You have to have if you don't want to be filmed, don't jump in the you conversation. Have have yeah, but you're lying. No, that's that's what he said. We're busy. No, he said the most. He's on camera. Okay, one more shit. point. One more point. If you abuse me, I'll call the police on you. Don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't abuse me. I'll call the police on you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one more point. that uh, in, the, uh, is in the Hadith, which says that Allah will put a Jew or a, or a Christian in place of a... Uh, of a Muslim who has very heavy sins, he will replace, he will, uh, you know, sacrifice a Jew or a Christian. So that means that you, you, he would have gone to hell, but because his Allah is merciful and he's going to take a Jew or a Christian to put him in hell made, in his place. Well, I'm I don't know, because this guy was saying that. No, but you don't know the Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Allah is going to have other people say for Muslim sins. 
And they're saying it's all about, if Allah is merciful, he could just give mercy to the others. But he doesn't. He actually gives mercy to Muslim by putting a Christian in his place in heaven, in hell. That's their belief. That's their hadith. Allah wants you to sin. Sorry? Allah wants you to sin. Yeah. Allah also wants you to sin. Otherwise, he'll replace you with the ones who will sin. Did you see? Did you see? Sam. Discussion. Basically, um, I I came to you know this Muslim people. Can you, Michael? Michael, can you feel me? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, my apologies. Right. People come to speakers' corner and they always ask to debate me every single time. To be fair, it's not them specifically, although Sam Dawa is there. They always come and they try to make it sound like I'm after them. Yes, today I did come to have a debate with Muhammad Ali. They called him, he came here, we had a debate. Anyway, apart from this, you know, uh, I wanted to clarify um, the reality is that when I debunked Islam, when I proved to him that an account written hundreds of years later, which is shorter and is distorted, cannot be truthful, he wouldn't talk about it. And he kept saying that women are not allowed to teach. When I showed him in the Quran, it says that your sins are turning to good deeds. And when I showed him the hadith, he was denying it. Um, I didn't call him a parrot, however, it is parroting. If you're going to learn a book and you don't even understand what it says, you can't teach it, that is parrot behavior. I'm not insulting him, but really, what is more important, to read something and understand it or to memorize it and not understand it, right? Anyway, turn to Jesus Christ today is the way the truth and the life, and um, you, you can only get saved through his death and resurrection on the cross. There is no other way to get saved. Um, the Bible precedes the Quran. The prophecy of Jesus is been written for thousands of years. The way, the truth, and the, the life. There is no other way to get saved. Your deeds will not save you. The man tried to say that the scale of judgment is not valid. It says very clearly in Islam that your deeds and your sins will be put on a scale. And if your deeds are more than your sins, you will get to heaven. And he says that he's a good person. Now in the Bible, it recognizes that all human beings are sinners and we're all evil people. Does it mean we're murderers? No, it just means that we don't. We have a fallen nature. This is why we need Jesus Christ to be reconciled back to God because of our original sin. We cannot save ourselves. Only Jesus Christ can save us. And that's it, guys. All right. Well done, then. We've had a long night. Probably at night. How was that? That was crazy. Yeah. Never. <laughs> I wish you said what instead of me saying it, what I said was a really strong point. I was trying to say, if you're just he said you know, good and bad things, the point you made second time. Long back I That's what he, and then he said, but it's up to God's mercy yeah, overall. Then you said, are you going to heaven? He said, yes, I am. That's good. So how does he know if God's going to give him mercy, whether he's done the good things or not? But we know as Christians because there is no judgment for us. Don't put me on there.